All right, so today we have a 2017 EasyGo RXV. We're going to do a lithium rhino install on. This is how we walked up on the cart. So the customer's got a couple accessories. He's got a radio, uh, some underglow lights. What he's done is a 12 volt deep cycle battery for his accessories. Um, the only thing that we have separately on this cart is a 48 volt light kit. So it's a light horn signal turn you know turn signals brake lights everything in one kit a lot of those will be 48 volts that's what we got here uh, you can identify that by turning the headlights on and then you could pull that fuse out if the headlights go off that will be your you know your headlight uh, source so this is kind of unique since it's 48 volts it will get hooked up hooked up to your main positive um, this is the ground for that kit and then uh, so what you want to do is identify your main positive and main negative. One way you could do that would be to follow your charge port wires. If you look behind the charge port here, you've got a black, a gray, a red, and a blue. You're looking for the, the black and the red. So you can follow those out and you're going to see that your red and gray wire will come right here. Your black wire is going to come around and go right here. But if you don't know that or just for safe measure, you can confirm that with a voltmeter. So there's some, you can look at this post here, you can see some extra wires on this ground. That's a good indicator that something, that this could be your main ground as well. So that's where I'm gonna put my black lead on my voltmeter, right here. So then you can walk it around right beside it here. That's a 12 volt battery. I'm getting a reading 12.6. Right here, that's 24. Uh, then right here on this positive is 36 and then over here you got your 48 showing 50.2 volts but 48 volt cart you're looking for 48 approximately you know it might be 51 52 volts somewhere in there depending on how what condition the batteries are in but so right here is going to be your main positive and your main negative based on that voltage reading based on your charge wires going to it um, and you can also look this large red cable here that's going to go to your solenoid you can take this cover off and look at that and follow that out as well. So a couple different ways to identify, but uh, all of them can be confirmed by your voltmeter. 